Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube page. We're continuing our Week 13 previews with the rivalry game between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Baltimore Ravens. This game will be down in Baltimore, a 415 kick. Uh, the Steelers come into this game with a record of 6 and 5. Uh, they were 1 6 and 3 since the Roethlisberger injury, which we'll get to in a second. Uh, they've dropped two straight, are now at 6 and 5, and are still uh, in the wild card race. Uh, in the AFC. The Ravens, on the other hand, 9-2, and two, uh, looking to uh, solidify their grip on the NFC North, as well as begin to jockey for playoff positioning, possibly getting into those uh, first two seeds there, and maybe even the, the top seed, uh, and getting a bye and possibly home field advantage uh, throughout the playoffs. First with the Steelers. Again, the Steelers are coming off two straight losses, most recently last week uh, to the Cleveland Browns when they started third-string quarterback Charlie Batch, who threw uh, three interceptions last week. Some updates on the Roethlisberger injury and the other injuries for the Steelers. Roethlisberger is going to begin practicing lightly from all the reports we've seen early in the week. Uh, there's many teammates that think he'll play on Sunday. And let's face it, if they have any chance of winning this game, Roethlisberger has to play. Uh, they they can't they couldn't even beat the Browns with their backup quarterback so we have no confidence they'll be able to beat uh, the much more high powered Ravens uh, with second third string quarterbacks. Uh, all indications are Roethlisberger will practice and he could very well play on Sunday. Some other notable injuries for the Steelers uh, is uh, Lamar Woodley uh, hurt his ankle against the Browns and is most likely going to miss this week's game altogether. Uh, rookie right tackle Mike Adams as well is expected to miss several weeks uh, with a, a high ankle sh high ankle injury. And also someone coming back from the injury list, David DeCastro, their uh, first round pick from this past draft will come back from injured reserve. He might be forced to play a little bit sooner than the Steelers wanted him to due to all these injuries. But that's your Steelers injury update. And again, we think the success or failure of the Steelers in this particular game and the rest of the season really is getting Roethlisberger back in the fold. As far as Baltimore goes, I mean, we've all seen the Ray Rice 4th and 29 play by now. Spectacular play by, let's face it, a spectacular player. Uh, Baltimore was down 10 nothing in the half in that game versus the Chargers and came back and won. Again, it's a case of Ravens, a team that usually finds ways to win games like that, and the Chargers, a team that usually finds ways to lose games like that. So Baltimore came out on top. As far as Baltimore uh, in this upcoming game versus the Steelers, uh, they'll need a, a consistent performance out of Joe Flacco. Whether Roethlisberger plays or not, I think it's going to be about Flacco managing the game, not making the big mistake, and about Ray Rice uh, taking control um, against you know what might be a banged up Steelers defense, but still a good Steelers defense nonetheless. Th this game usually comes down to one or two big plays uh, towards the end, and it usually comes down to... Um, you know, a big defensive stand. These games are always fun to watch. These NFC North uh, absolute brawls in these games. Uh, there's no line for this game released yet just due to the Roethlisberger injury uh, situation. Uh, we think, though, that Baltimore has a serious advantage being that they're just generally more healthy. And I know that seems like a very easy way to kind of break this down. But, look, both these teams know each other. They're not going to trick each other. So it's going to be... Our best versus your best, and we think right now the Ravens just have more weapons at their disposal than the Steelers, uh, even if Roethlisberger does play. Uh, some trends, some notable trends here. Um, Pittsburgh is 2-8 and eight in their last 10 games on the road against the spread. That's really the only one that we see that's really eye-popping, but again, uh, we like the Ravens in this game whether Roethlisberger plays or not. Uh, we just think they're a better team right now, and we think they'll relish the opportunity to sort of uh, put the Steelers away. Uh, not to end, that's, A loss here won't end the Steelers' season, but a loss here will definitely pretty much solidify the division 
uh, for the Ravens. So we like the Ravens against the what is a battered uh, Steelers team here in Week 13.